In this video, I'm going to show you how to use BitRave to connect to an Azure mobile service in Unity 3D. The first thing you want to do is download the BitRave plugin. The link will be in the description. Once you've downloaded it, you'll see three folders. You'll want to open up the Azure Mobile Services Universal Plugin folder. And it's the Assets folder, Contents, that we want to copy into our Unity project. And I'm going to make a new project with the default settings. Once your project has been created, you'll want to jump back to the desktop and copy the BitRave assets into your project assets folder. And drop those files in. And then jump back to Unity. There is one dependency with BitRave. It requires a JSON library called Newtonsoft. And you've got a couple of options. You can use the Newtonsoft JSON library from NuGet for free if you just want to target Windows. But in this demo, I'm going to target iOS and Android. So I'm going to use the JSON.NET asset from the Unity store to be able to target multiple platforms. So I'm just going to log in and download the plugin and import the assets. And once that's done, you should notice that the error warning disappears. Next, you want to open up the test as your scene. and then edit the Azure UI script. And we'll need to update mobile services connection strings. I've already created a mobile service, so I'm going to just copy and paste the strings in now. And also, in this demo, I'm going to show authentication. So I need to generate a access token from Facebook. So I can copy that user token and paste it into the script. Don't forget to save the script. Back in Unity, the script seems to be missing. So the easiest way is just to remove the component from the camera and reattach the script to the camera. And once that's reattached, you can run the application. And you'll notice that BitRave allows you to not only run the application in the Unity editor, but you can also actually connect to the mobile service. It, it will actually run and do work. So in this case, I'm going to create a to do item table. And this will give me an empty table into which I'm going to insert some to-do items. And in the Unity Editor, I'm just going to log in. I can go to the console and I can see that I have successfully logged in. Once I log in, you'll also notice that the rest of the UI items become active. And I can add in a sample to-do item. I can also list the to-do items. And if I go back to my mobile service, I can browse my table and I should be able to see that item that I've added in. I can also select the item in Unity and I can update the text and change one of the parameters to say it's completed. And I can update that and see that item being updated in my mobile service. I could also add more items and list them. I can also run a query to find certain items. 
But once you're happy it's all working, you can go and build your application. Go to build settings. Add the current scene. And I'm going to build for iOS. So I'm going to pick iOS platform and switch. And I'm going to say yes to Simlink, Unity Libraries and Development Build. I also need to modify my player settings to make sure that I'm targeting the simulator SDK. And I can go ahead and build that out. And once that's built, I can open the project in Xcode and run it in the simulator. Just open the Xcode project. And simply run. You might want to rotate the iOS emulator, just use command right arrow key, and that'll give you a better view of the UI. I'm going to log in. Just like the Unity editor, I can add some to do text. And I can list all my to do items. I can drill in, select an item. And if I jump over to my Unity portal, I can show you that item has been added in from the iOS simulator. There it is. Next, I'm going to build for Android. So I'm going to switch platform to Android and I'm going to say yes to Google Android project and development build. I'll also need to modify my player settings and change the bundle identifier. So this is usually com dot your company name dot the name of the application. Again, just build the project out to a folder. And this is going to build an Eclipse Android project. And once that's built, I'm going to import this Android project into Android Studio. Easiest way to do that is to drop it into the Android Studio project folder that you have. So I'm just going to drag and drop it into my Android Studio project folder. And I'm going to import that project in Android Studio. If it doesn't come up initially in your list, just hit the refresh button. It should pop up. Go ahead and import it. It might take a little while to import. Once that's done, I'm going to just edit one file. I'm going to go into the manifest folder and change the manifest install location. I'm going to use auto. Go ahead and run that. I'm going to use the Nexus 7. API 21 Android emulator. I've just sped up the emulator booting up for the sake of the demo. And again, you'll want to rotate the Android emulator so you can fit in the UI. It's Control F11, and you'll need to log in. And then I can add in some items. List all the items you can drill in, select an item, and you can edit that item. And again, you can see those changes on the Azure portal. And that completes our demo with BitRave and Azure Mobile Services. Hope you find it useful in developing your games and apps in Unity 3D.